Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are back with another of these Godzilla X Kong The New Empire figures, and this time we've got the Battle Roar version of Kong. Now you can see the figure does look pretty cool here on the front of the box. You can see also that the uh, artwork is the same as we've seen the entire time. Nothing really new or flashy going on this time around when it comes to the artwork. And you can also see that here on the back. It kind of promotes the Battle Roar Godzilla, which we've already reviewed. The Battle Roar uh, Scar King, which we've also reviewed. And now the Battle Roar Kong, which is the final to kind of join this group of reviews. And, of course, we also have the button back here that uh, is, you know, showing up on the back of the box to give it a little bit of a sample if you see it in store. So let's pop this out of the box and check it out. So here is our Battle Roar version of Kong. And I'm going to readjust the camera slightly to kind of put it up a little bit higher, get a better look at him. And you can see the figure does look pretty cool. He definitely has a, a decent likeness to Kong. And again, I feel like when it comes to the Kongs, uh, honestly, I would say they're probably the standouts when it comes to this line so far. The one Scar King we took a look at wasn't bad, but the articulation was lacking. However, I do feel like there is going to be better articulation on some of the other Scar Kings I haven't taken a look at yet. Same deal for this Kong, because the first Kong I had taken a look at, which was the 6-inch version, had really nice articulation. And this one has super generic bad articulation, just like the Scar King did. So when it comes to articulation, at least the Godzilla wins it but when it comes to uh, detailing I definitely think the detailing is better on Kong than Godzilla so far anyway but this one also looks pretty decent minus the fact that the articulation is definitely severely lacking but sculpt wise and paint wise it looks okay so let's jump to a closer look and check it out from there so starting up here at the head sculpt of our Kong you can see it looks pretty decent the skin texture overall looks Fairly nice, even in the rubbery areas, you can see it looks okay. Also, uh, and I apologize to whoever told me, I believe it was on Instagram, they had let me know that this was an issue, but I can't realize there's so many people that tag me and, uh, you know, message me about different things that I have a horrible memory to begin with, so I consistently forget who it was, and I apologize to them. But they did let me know they were having some issues with their Scar King and their Kong when it comes to the paint rubbing off of the rubbery areas very easily. So that is something that I did want to mention for anybody that is going to purchase these. Definitely be careful with that. And actually, I can already see it. You can see the paint is kind of rubbed off right here up on the eyebrow. And it looks like maybe a little bit on the lips. So I can definitely see already. And I haven't even done anything. It literally just got out of the box. I can already see that occurring. So not too good when it comes to the quality control aspect. But if you look at it from the front, again, the likeness of Kong is definitely there. You can see the teeth sculpted there on the inside of the mouth we have a nice lighter gray for the face as we have also orange eyes like a darker orange with black pupils they you know aren't perfectly lined up but they don't look terrible i guess and uh, as you move up again the actual fur detail i think looks really quite nice on the kong figures same for the ears sculpted here on the side it looks pretty good there's a bit of a seam running up and over the top of the head which is pretty obvious but uh not too terrible, I guess. You can see that the fur running all the way down into the chin and everything looks nice moving around. The transition from the gray to the darker variation of color of the body of Kong does look quite nice as well. And as we lead along to the back again, you can see it looks quite nice. You can also see that this appears to be a separate piece. So this is still the rubbery uh, material right here and as you move down here it becomes a hard plastic but in some situations like with Godzilla it's very obvious when you leave the rubber to the plasticky areas because I think the detail just suffers greatly from that transition whereas here I don't think it's that bad you know when you move it down it doesn't look like there's a massive loss in detail like you see on the Godzilla figure. So that is a plus, at least for Kong. Moving down again through the course of the back, you've got all of the wavy fur here sculpted out. It's not the most impressive, amazing sculpt ever, but it looks okay. And you can see the button again here on the back is super obvious. I don't know why they have the button extended out away from the body. It could have easily just been flush. I've said this every time. It could have easily just been flush and not so obvious. It's like they almost underestimate the intelligence of kids. So they're like, well, we have to push the button out or they'll never find it. It's not the case. And uh, I'm not trying to completely 
insult playmates, but I think uh, kids are a little smarter than they realize. But as you move down, you can also see we have quite a few screw holes here on the back. Five, it looks like, to be exact, as well as the battery compartment. And it's not like, you know, a Godzilla figure where it's a little more easy to hide them on Kong. It's kind of, uh, well, I mean, screw holes. We didn't necessarily need those. But when it comes to the battery compartment, that was inevitably going to be out showing somewhere. But as you move down again through the back of Kong, you can see all of the fur looks quite nice. You've also got nice muscle definition moving down. You can see a big calf muscle and stuff for Kong. If you lead around here to the front again, you can see the chest is also nicely sculpted. We also have that gray coloration, that lighter gray return again for the chest. We have, I guess, what you would call the scars here on the chest of Kong. They're just kind of painted out, not sculpted in, just painted out. You can also see the area here where the uh, you know sound would come from. So we've got kind of like some holes running through the abs of Kong, which is a little ugly. You can see when you look at it like that, it's definitely obvious and a little distracting, but not terrible again. As you move down here into the arms, you can see again the fur looks quite nice the overall sculpt has a nice uh, amount of muscle definition musculature to it he looks very strong same deal for the opposing arm over here it all looks really quite nice again you've got the elbow and everything sculpted as well as when you move down here into the hands you can see we also return back to that lighter grayish tone for the hands again as you lead basically into like the knuckles and the fur tapers away and we return to the skin texture you can see that light grayish tone and uh, also again the fact that we've got a nice fist made on that side also over here again a fist over here so Kong is absolutely ready to pummel anybody that comes near him specifically I would think Scar King but or uh any other creatures that we may find in that movie, which again has not come out yet, so we'll have to wait and see. But as far as the articulation goes, we don't have any neck articulation. We do, of course, have jaw articulation, but that's part of the action feature, which we'll get to here in a moment. The arm articulation is just forward and back, like, you know, up and down, basically a swivel. You can't actually go all the way around because the hand stops it looks like we should have wrist articulation yes so we do have wrist articulation it doesn't move forward and back or anything just swivels same deal with the arm it can't come out away from the body there's no articulation in the elbows at all unfortunately you're going to find the same thing for this arm this one can completely swivel around though because the hand isn't stopping it again the wrist articulation as well and then as you move down you have leg articulation where it can kind of just swivel around that's really it no other articulation as far as that goes. And also, I forgot to actually mention the sculpting of the feet. The feet look okay, but you can see the detail is actually really quite muted. Like, it looks like it wants to have nice detail. You can see the toenails and everything are sculpted out, but it's just not vibrant at all. Kind of reminds me of Godzilla's skin, where it's just really uh, muted detail. Same deal for the feet of Kong. No paintwork or anything on the undersides of the feet. But overall, it's not a bad figure. It's not a great figure. It's, I would say, just an okay figure. And then, of course, when it comes to the action feature, we have the battle roar. So to do that, to operate that, we'll press this button on the back of the body. So it sounds like we've only got two noises for our Kong, and you can see how it kind of scrunches up the eyes, makes him look really angry, and obviously the mouth opens. We can see the tongue in there is painted with a pinkish tone. No coloration, it looks like, on the inside of the mouth on the upper side. So pretty much the same as we had seen on the Scar King, as far as that figure goes. As far whoop, he fell. I was going to say as far as his size goes, let's get him standing first. But for a size, height-wise is probably the only thing we really need to do. You're not going to get a length on Kong. You're looking around 7 inches or about the... A little over 17 and a half centimeters, closing in on 18, but maybe a hair under. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, Robert Muldoon, and the Collect Day human being next to our Battle Roar version of Kong. And uh, you can see he sports a pretty decent size, just like the other Battle Roar figures have. We've also got a comparison with the Battle Roar version of Godzilla next to the Kong. You can see these are pretty similar in size. We've also got a comparison here with the 6-inch version of the Kong from this newest film. Again, the newest Playmates Kong uh, figures here next to each other. You can obviously see the 
battle roar version is a bit larger and i apologize if you see like random white things moving around in here because uh, i still have all sorts of that cotton just kind of floating around down here from my unboxing that i had on the channel yesterday there's like tons of it and it's just everywhere and I can't seem to get rid of it, so you might see some of it just kind of floating through every once in a while. But again, you can see obviously the Battle Roar figure here is a bit larger. And then when it comes to that same style of Kong from the last film, again Godzilla vs. Kong, you can see what the size difference is here between these two. And here is an interesting comparison because we actually have the Battle Roar version of Kong from the last film next to the newest version. And uh, you will notice that they're almost in the same pose. I don't know what I would say about that. I almost feel like that's a little bit of laziness on the part of Playmates because they didn't bother trying to come up with at least maybe a slightly different pose for the figure they're almost identical when it comes to the pose except obviously the sculpt has been drastically updated i think the newest version is way better than the older version when it comes to the likeness of kong they definitely did a way better job on the newer one but one thing that i will say i notice is that the older one did have ankle articulation the newer one does not so the older one did have you know better articulation than the newer one but even like if you look right here where the rubbery area kind of runs down and transitions to the plastic area looks ugly on that one but it looks a lot smoother on the newer one so looks like there's ups and downs for both versions but uh they are extremely similar obviously also extremely similar in size so this brand new playmates godzilla x kong battle roar kong is okay i definitely liked the six inch version better because even though it didn't have sounds or any kind of an action feature, I'm an articulation kind of guy, so the more articulation, the better. I just feel like they're so much more fun to display, and even from a playability standpoint, they're just way more fun. I think the ability to articulate a figure drastically outweighs a action feature, like a goofy action feature of the Kong roaring. So the six inch version is definitely better and it's a little cheaper. But if you are, you know, a fan of noises and stuff and action features, this one does have some okay noises. You only get two noises and that's really it. You also have an action feature, which I do kind of like because the fact that the face is rubber, it looks natural when the action feature occurs. So that's pretty cool. But if the paint is rubbing off, like it looks like it is already. And as some other people have mentioned to me, then it's definitely not a great thing for this figure. The articulation is also extremely limited it's not really that great kind of reminds me of a super old school toy like i would have had growing up when articulation wasn't the greatest thing in the world that's kind of what we have here where it's just very generic articulation and uh not really that great but again you do have the better articulated versions out there so you kind of know what you're getting into i think with this one it also has a little bit of a bigger size than some of the other figures which is at least pretty decent and the paintwork is okay but it's not really anything to rave about so overall it's not a terrible figure it's not a great figure this is exactly the same thing i said earlier i think it's just an okay figure you know it's not really anything that i highly recommend running out and grabbing but if you do want to complete the line it's not a bad addition it's just not anything that's going to blow your mind but if you are interested i will include a link in the description to where you can purchase it on walmart.com because some of the godzilla x kong figures have begun showing up online on walmart.com not all of them there's still quite a few that you can't get on there but you know this one is on there so i will include a link to that and of course like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching